Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. My guest tells me that this is a now, N-O-W, a now moment for you to experience the assistance and help of angels. As a matter of fact, there is a special angel whose name is Breakthrough that comes many times when he speaks. And I spoke to Randy Domain and I said, do you know what the catalyst is? I mean, what causes this angel to show up? And he said, if the people really hunger for a visitation, he will show up. And you're going to find out when this angel shows up, he lives up to his name. What was his name? Breakthrough. Breakthrough. And guess what's going to happen in your life? Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Sid Roth here with Randy Domain. And Randy provokes me to jealousy because an amazing thing happened to him, and his eyes are open to the angelic realm. Randy, I have to ask you, are there any angels in this studio right now? There are, Sid, when we were uh, f coming in at just the beginning. Second. Did you just hear that? Yeah. He said there are! Yes. Did you hear that? There are! I'm sorry, go ahead, Randy. No, I was very excited because right at the very beginning when you began to step up and introduce, I watched an angel walk up behind you and he began to, to put upon you uh, gifts of healing. There were boxes and gifts that was upon you and I believe uh, that you're going to move in healing uh, before this night is over. Secondly, I saw an angel of praise and worship and, and worship and praise are the elements that opens up and enthrones the king. So I saw those two already tonight and we're just getting started. Well. You, you know, I, I told the studio audience that my guest tonight does one of the most courageous things that I have ever heard of. Now, I have to tell you, I do things because of God's help, and I'm sure that's why he does it, uh, because of help from God that the world would call courageous. But what he does is amazing. He goes into Muslim countries. He has campaigns to tell Muslims that Jesus is the Son of God. And he says, bring the blind, bring the deaf. And if they're not healed, I am not a man of God. Randy, that takes courage. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> I just do it because I believe God is who he says okay. he is. Okay, how many times have you missed it? I guess you wouldn't be here if you missed it. <laughs> you know, it makes sense. <laughs> I've actually done this four times that I can remember. And uh, not one time has God failed to do exactly what he said he would do. And there has been deaf eyes opened and deaf ears opened uh, the night or, or the day before the meeting that I'm going to have. So there's already a testimony that God's power, miracle power is present. Tell me... Just that one person blind that comes to mind uh, that had got their sight. Tell me about one meeting somewhere. I remember of a, of a young man, uh, yeah, right probably in his early 20s, 
and uh, he brought his mother uh, forward for a word of knowledge to heal the blind. We were, we were ministering to the blind and uh, said a simple prayer of faith and a declaration over her. And uh, she opened her eyes and she began to cry. I saw tears coming out of her face, but she wasn't saying anything. She was just grabbing the face of her son like she did before I prayed for her. And finally, I was able to capture her attention. I said, why are you crying? She said, for the first time, said for the first time in 18 years, I can see the face of my son who I love. It was the most incredible thing. I mean, what is that worth for a mother to see her son for the first time in 18 years? In Vietnam, you had quite an experience with some angels. Tell me about that. I, I did. We were uh, doing some humanitarian aid there uh, and reaching out with the gospel. And while we were there finishing up work one evening, we went to the hotel that we were staying at. Now, interestingly enough, uh, sometime during the day, uh, several of uh, the communist soldiers had come. And this is, you know, a few years ago back when the trade embargo was, right. you know, still in place. And so we had a, a time where it was precarious, I'll say, at best to be uh, in the country. But we had permission. It was all good. But we walked into the hotel to begin to go up to our room to find out they'd been drinking there all day and uh, heavily drinking. And they were well armed. They had knives and machetes, pistols and rifles. And uh, when we looked at that situation, we knew that if we stepped into it, a high, a highly likely uh, would it be that we would have an encounter and not a good one. And so we, we stepped back the way and, and uh, you know, we just began to think, what might we do? We, we couldn't go to another hotel. We had our, all our belongings there. And I said, God, what do we do? And he said, walk through their midst. So I turned to the men, I said, we're going to go in. Now, now, you better be sure you're hearing from God when you walk through a br bunch of drunken people with knives and, and high-powered armament, uh, and they're not in a friendly state. You better hear from God. Go ahead. Absolutely. And, and that's what we knew as well. We, we knew our lives were in danger. In fact, we felt the severity of the moment. We were quite concerned if we were going to make it in. And uh, so we stepped in and, and I just took a deep breath and I said, God, here I go. I didn't know what else to do but to be obedient. We walked about probably 50 yards from the front of the hotel, past the check-in desk counter, through several tables uh, of soldiers sitting there uh, that were drinking, that, that were rowdy, that were yelling, walked right through the midst of them over to a stairwell that led upstairs. As we had walked through them, myself and about 12 other gentlemen, we walked through and I noticed that um, there was no one paying attention to us. It was like we weren't even there. We walked all the way through, up the steps, and at the top step I turned back just to see what we'd walked through. And there my eyes were open and I saw two rows of angels standing facing each other and they had made a corridor for us and it allowed us to walk right through the midst of that dangerous situation without any harm up to our rooms. How about uh, if... <laughs> How about if your eyes are open to seeing angels? Well, when we come back, you're going to find out about a visitation that Randy had from Jesus and a gift, an amazing gift that was handed to Randy. Don't go away. Randy DeMaine had an encounter with an angel of the Lord, and he was instructed to bring forth a teaching about Dominion Surge, a supernatural surge of power that the angels attached themselves to. Now is the time for you to experience a supernatural breakthrough to possess every blessing and promise of God for your life. More with Randy DeMaine in just one moment. Call now and get Randy Domain's revelatory book, Dominion Surges, and his powerful DVD, Activating Dominion Surges, plus his audio CD teaching, Activating Your Angels of Inheritance. All for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9154. Randy's book is a manual to equip you to understand how to combine the Word, worship, the prophetic, and prayer into one, unfolding your beliefs into words of action, intent, and pursuit. 
through Randy's anointed audio CD teaching, Activating Your Angels of Inheritance, you will understand how to activate angels, how to get them to work with you, how to see the invisible realm. Also included are these five proclamation cards, which contain powerful declarations for preparation, strength, breakthrough for increase, releasing blessing and favor, and for your healing. Plus, activating dominion surges. Heaven is voice activated. That's how it works. Lord, let your beauty be upon my life. Don't miss out on getting Randy Domain's revelatory book, Dominion Surges, and his powerful DVD, Activating Dominion Surges, plus his audio CD teaching, Activating Your Angels of Inheritance, all for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9154. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9154 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with Randy Domain. And in 2004, Randy was in Nigeria, and he had an experience with God that changed his life forever. And even better than that, it's going to change your life. As I, I, I believe if you are hungry for God, it's going to change your life. It's going to change your life tonight. What happened? We were doing a number of crusades in Nigeria. And uh, the last night uh, I was doing the crusade, I was speaking and ministering there. Uh, we'd watched the Lord remove uh, a whole swarm of locusts out off the people that the witch uh, doctors had caused to come in. God supernaturally removed them. After that, uh, I began to, to declare the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Multitudes began but, to but, come wait, but, but I still have to understand this. Okay. Why did so many, uh, y y there were multitudes of locusts. Yes. And how did they know God did it as opposed to they just took off anyway? I asked the, uh, the local pastor and some of the leaders that were there, and I said, why are all the locusts here? Is this the season that they just come? And they said, no, this is very common when we have a Christian gathering of this size. And there were multiple thousands of people there that the local witch doctors and the shamans, that they'll curse the meeting and cause some type of disruption. Di disruption. In this case, locusts, they actually curse them and call them forth and send them in to disrupt the, the meeting. So how did you get rid of them? Well, we began to stand up uh, and, and declare the Word of God. We took authority over them, as the Lord says that we can do. We have authority. So we began to say, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over you, locusts. Depart and be gone. And we, we began to go through that and over and over. And, and, uh, and it seemed like we were gaining some ground, but then the people started to leave. And I got a little nervous. I said, uh oh, the people are leaving. Now what are we going to do? And uh, so I said, start the praise, and let's get the praise going, the breakthrough praise. Let's get, let's get that going, and let's, you know, hold on to this meeting. And no longer had we started the praise music when several of the hundred of the people had left started coming back with pails and containers and, and all sorts of uh, uh, devices that would hold water. And uh, when they came back and they were in place, I thought, what in the world is this? And, and I was asking myself that, and, and I was, the band was going, so I wasn't talking. And the Lord says, now stand up and tell the locusts to depart and, and, and tell the witch and declare that the witch doctors have no authority over God. So I just simply stood up and I said, my God's greater than any power that brought these locusts. So we command them in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, the Messiah, we command them to depart. And I'm telling you, Sid, within a moment's time, they begin to drop out of the sky or fly away by the multitudes until less than three minutes, the sky was clear. Okay, when the people saw this, they obviously knew that it was God. How many of these people in Nigeria turned their life over to God, would you estimate? We estimate about 15,000 people. Did you hear that? 15,000? I think it's, this is a generation that we have to see signs and wonders. Okay, then the, the last night, uh, Jesus came to visit you. What did he say? I was in the hotel after the meeting and I was saying, God, thank you for everybody saved. Thank you for the miracles. And I said, God, if you're going to move this way in Africa, I just want to stay here. Let's just stay here. Let's do this every day. I want to see the multitude saved. I want to see them healed, delivered. And uh, as I was saying that, uh, I was in praise with the CD that I had on and it had earphones. 
And in my ears, I hear this phrase, I have a gift for you, will you receive it? And I was startled because I thought, that's not on my CD. Uh, you know, I'm hearing something, it was like an audible, loud voice. Right. And so it caught my attention, I began to look up, and then as I looked up, I began to feel, feel that presence, the presence of the Lord when He comes. There's a, His presence precedes Him. And I began to sense that the Lord's presence was coming upon me, and at that moment as I looked up, it was like a veil between one dimension and another opened, and a bright, bright, brilliant light, blinding light proceeded through this opening. And as I looked at it and sat back, then through this light appeared the living Lord Jesus, living Lord Jesus. And he walked fairly close to me about the distance that you and I are today, three to five feet. And he said this to me. He said, I have a gift for you. Will you receive it? He repeated, then I knew where the voice came from. Uh, my emotions were frozen. I, had, I was in fear and I was in love. Uh, I, did, I didn't know which to respond to, but... I couldn't respond, so as I thought, the Lord began to talk to me. And he says, an angel has come to me and asked to be assigned to you. His name is Breakthrough Revival. And he said, what you experienced in that crusade when uh, the locusts left, when the multitudes came, what you experienced when there was unprecedented signs and wonders and miracles, when there was no limit, uh, it was on earth as it was in heaven, what, what you experienced there was the ministry that this angel and those that he commands, that, that's what they provide, an, an opening, a portal of ministry that's unhindered. They actually take off of your word and off of your actions and they drive back the powers of darkness and withhold them so you can minister into that place the gospel without hindrance. And, and there is no uh, delay in it in its response and there is no hindrance. The, the, the way the book is written. Yes. The way Jesus operated. Yes. And, and, and so this, this breakthrough angel, I, uh, the Lord told you that this, this angel was with a famous pastor uh, by the name of, uh, was it Benson Idioso? Yes. And what, tell me what Benson accomplished in his life in Africa and Nigeria. He had a tremendous ministry. We know that he planted or started over 6,000 churches. Did you hear that? 6,000 churches? Planted or started? Raised, uh, amen. He, he raised somewhere between 28 people from the dead is the best estimate. What happens when breakthrough uh, revival shows up at a meeting? What happens? Just tell me a couple things real quick. Breakthrough's job is to break down any resistance against bringing forth the gospel or people's ability to respond to the gospel. And so when God is ready to move in an area among a people, the ministry of these angels is to break through the resistance, whether it be in your heart or whether it be a natural resistance. I'm going to ask you when we come back to pray for the breakthrough anointing for everyone. That's you and you. Don't go away. <laughs> we'll be right back to It's Supernatural! For He Himself is our peace, who has made both Jew and Gentile into one, and broke down the barrier of the dividing wall. His purpose was to create in Himself, to create in Himself. His purpose was to create one new man. One new man. One new man. Один новый человек. The Adam Hadash Echad. One new man. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with Randy Domain. Uh, and Randy, in 2009, you were told a phrase that you'd never heard before from God. Tell me about that. The phrase that the Lord spoke to me is the phrase, dominion surges, dominion surges. And I said, God, what, is what are dominion surges? He had spoke to me that after I'd had the encounter with uh, Breakthrough Revival, and had uh, taken that message to all the peoples that I could take that message to, that, that it was America's time and that God was ready to begin to move in America and in the nations and in, and in the places where this message would be received. He said that after that message had been given, it was ready, he was ready for the next wave or the next move. 
So I took the message as one man, and then the Lord began to show me it was time to form alliances for conquest and bring dominion surges, which would bring the second one. <laughs> Tell me about that couple from Texas when they sat under your teaching. Oh, we were doing a, actually a dominion surge, and we were moving through how to do the surge, and we were moving through it, and this couple had come to the meeting. They had come and they told me that we had, they had lost everything, uh, their jobs, their house, their car, everything. I saw them two weeks later, Sid. Uh, this is what they told me. You won't believe this. And I said, what happened? They said, we have two cars given to us. We both got a job and we were given a house to live in for free in two weeks by declaring and decreeing the Word of God, knowing that when we did, we were activating the angelic and that we we're also moving in the high praise, which enthrones God. And we saw the power of God become a reality in our lives. And, and if I'm understanding you right, the difference between what you are teaching and what most people receive is you proclaim God's Word and it manifests instantly. That's the way it's supposed to be. But you need a, a, a uh, dominion surge for this to occur. And I believe that you can pray for our studio audience and our audience at home. And I believe that they are going to have a breakthrough anointing for those that would believe. Any of you going to be believing when he prays for you? <laughs> Any of you going to be believing when he prays for you? You think I can't see you? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's supernatural. Well, who knows? Who knows? You know, all things are possible for those that believe. Okay. Pray right now. Look in the camera and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everybody watching at this very moment of time, everybody who has heard this word and, and needs a breakthrough, because this breakthrough anointing that, that you've given me, Father, it's, it's not only uh, for me, but it's freely I've received and freely given. So, Lord, as the breakthrough anointing is upon me to declare and to decree the word of God, to declare freedom, liberty, restoration, uh, God, over the people's lives, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everybody watching right now. And by faith right now, I just release and I decree a breaker anointing who on their lives right now, a breakthrough in every area that they need it, relationally, financially, physically, mentally, spiritually. I declare a breakthrough and a breaking through and a freedom for them to walk in and pursue what God has intended for them, that they might have the fullness of joy and the fullness of a restored life by the grace and the goodness of a God who loves them. So Lord, let it be so. Let angels be dispatched. God, let your word be fulfilled and manifested and receive your glory. Wow, glory in Jesus' name. I declare it to be so. Receive it now. It's happening right now as you receive it. It's all over you. It's happening to you. Receive it. I see your rooms being filled. I see rooms being filled with angels right now. I see people's hands are receiving heat. I see their minds being free. I see doors opening. I see relationships being restored right now in the name of Jesus. God's moving all over this message. Wherever you are, whatever language you speak, whatever culture you're in, no limitations. This is your time for breakthrough. Receive it now in Jesus' name. Let it be so. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I, I, I am just feeling the presence of God. Uh, Randy, I'm just, I, I'm just curious on this. When you see the breakthrough, breakthrough angel, yes. when you see him, yes. do many people in the congregation see the breakthrough angel? Tell me the most that ever saw him. All right. In, uh, one, in one meeting. In one meeting. Uh, in one meeting, I was in Alaska, and it was the one meeting that I know that if not everybody, almost everybody saw him because the moment he appeared, my worship leader started messing up the notes. Her eyes got big, her mouth opened, and I turned around to the congregation. There was about 150, 175 people there, and, and the pastor ran out the door, and the people jumped underneath the pews because they were afraid of this angel. He was so magnificent. There's more. There is more for you than just plain religion. I mean, it, it's time for you to get desperate for God. It's time, if you haven't made Jesus your Messiah and Lord, you just made him your insurance policy, it's time to make him. Uh, it's, Jesus said, if you're lukewarm, I'll vomit you out of my mouth. It's time to make Jesus your Lord. Do business with Jesus as soon as we go off the air in Jesus' name.
Randy DeMaine had an encounter with an angel of the Lord, and he was instructed to bring forth a teaching about Dominion Surge, a supernatural surge of power that the angels attached themselves to. Now is the time for you to experience a supernatural breakthrough to possess every blessing and promise of God for your life. We'll be back with more in just one moment. Call now and get Randy Domain's revelatory book, Dominion Surges, and his powerful DVD, Activating Dominion Surges, plus his audio CD teaching, Activating Your Angels of Inheritance. All for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9154. Randy's book is a manual to equip you to discover how to activate the sword, the blood, the thunders, lightnings, and the arrows of the Lord. Learn how you can declare the promises of God in the glory realm and see them become a reality. Understand how to combine the Word, worship, the prophetic, and prayer into one, unfolding your beliefs into words of action, intent, and pursuit through Randy's anointed audio CD teaching, Activating Your Angels of Inheritance. You're going to find out as I teach you in that CD how to activate angels, how to get them to work with you, how to have them come alongside, how to see the invisible realm and that which is not seen become seen. You'll have interactions with heavenly beings and watch them in many instances bring forth tangible things. Also included are these five proclamation cards, which contain powerful declarations for preparation, strength, breakthrough for increase, releasing blessing and favor, and for your healing. Plus, you will receive this powerful DVD, Activating Dominion Surges, filmed at Sid Roth's It's Supernatural Media and Mentoring Center in Charlotte, North Carolina. Randy Demain, along with an audience, will release Dominion Surges, powerful prayers, proclamations, and decrees in an atmosphere of praise to help you receive your supernatural breakthrough. Heaven is voice activated. That's how it works. Psalms 10320 says this. It says, Bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. So that tells us that angels hear God's word, and when he speaks God's word, they connect to the word and they carry it out. That's what I saw in my vision. Let the fire burn, let the word find its way. Give it a line, give it away in Jesus' name. Lord, let those words, that revelation of heaven come, come, come with power and with the might and with the Spirit of God upon them. Bone upon bone, flesh upon flesh. In the name of Jesus, I command this leg to come forward in Jesus' name. Grow. Her feet are perfectly the same. Bless you. Don't miss out on getting Randy Domain's revelatory book, Dominion Surges, and his powerful DVD, Activating Dominion Surges, plus his audio CD teaching, Activating Your Angels of Inheritance, all for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9154. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9154 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural, I have a Jewish filmmaker that spent eight years at the three most outstanding revivals in the modern history of North America. And when he reports on what he observed, the same things happen. It's going to pour out on you.